Are you confused between the difference between food allergy and food sensitivity? Which one is more important? How do you know which tests to do? And what did the results actually mean? My name is Dr. Taranella. In this video, we're gonna look at what some of the immune responses are and what the difference is between IgE and IgG mediated food reactions. So if this is something that interests you, you wanna see more videos about allergies and digestion and health related food testing, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Okay, let's look at the difference between food allergy and food sensitivity. A food allergy is the immune system's response to certain proteins present in specific foods, and that's what creates a severe allergic response. A classic example is with peanut allergies. When someone with a severe peanut allergy is exposed to peanuts, their immune system sees, as, sees that protein from the peanuts as a threat and tries to prevent it from spreading or moving throughout the body. In this case, the peanut protein or any proteins that are present in the peanut are seen by the immune system as a foreign invader, similar to a bacteria or virus. That immune response can be so strong though that it can actually be life-threatening. This cascade of reaction starts by the immune system producing immunoglobulins called IgE from previous exposures to peanuts. The next time the peanut comes in contact with the body, the IgG immunoglobulin is able to attach to it and creates a cascade of events that results in the allergic reaction. The amount of IgE immunoglobulin present in the body to the peanut partially determines the severity of the peanut allergy that will ensue when someone eats the peanut. Those with an allergy are ready. The more they're exposed to the peanuts, the more likely a severe reaction is to is going to happen so the more exposure the more likely it is to become severe even if the initial one is not that severe the next time the proteins from the peanut come in contact with the body the IgE immunoglobulin is able to attach to it and creates the cascade of reactions in the body that results in the allergic reaction so what's the difference between this type of allergic reaction and a food sensitivity reaction well it comes down to a few different variables but a similar type of response or reaction is happening with a food sensitivity sensitivity, but it involves IgG immunoglobulins versus IgE with the allergy. Food sensitivities or food intolerances are thought to be the product of immune activity, so that's where there's similarity with the IgE. However, it's just a different severity of response. Food sen where food sensitivities are thought to be less severe and also delayed, where food allergies are more immediate and also potentially life-threatening. Food sensitivities are also thought to be more involved with IBS type symptoms and skin sensitivity, eczema, things like that. However, there's still active and ongoing debate on the value in detecting IgG immunoglobulins in the blood, whether or not this really equates to problem or if it is just what's known as immune tolerance. IgG generally, IgG antibodies to a virus, for instance, are thought to represent a presence of a past infection and allows the body to recognize when that pathogen comes in into the body again, it's able to re respond more quickly. And so it's said that th the body is tolerant or the immune system is tolerant to that virus. As a result, not as strong of a reaction is going to happen when you come in contact with that virus again. Many immunologists and allergists argue that that is the same thing that's happening with IgG food antibodies. We'll discuss that topic in more detail in an upcoming video. Sometimes food sensitivities and food intolerances are used interchangeably, and that's fine, but I'll just point out that usually food sensitivity is actually when it's tested that you have an IgG immunoglobulin to that particular food, whereas an intolerance might be something more like lactose intolerance where you just empirically observe when you eat lactose, you don't process it very well, and that could be an enzyme deficiency, for example. Other times people observe that they have more digestive symptoms when they consume gluten. That would be an example of a food intolerance, whereas if you did a IgG blood sample and found that you had elevated IgG antibodies, that would also be a food sensitivity. So the difference between food sensitivity and food allergy is that a food sensitivity is measured by IgG antibodies and food allergy is measured by IgE antibodies. So that's the bottom line. In addition, there's also differences in the reactions that we would expect from a food sensitivity versus a food allergy. The food allergy is going to be more severe. The food sensitivity may be more mild. With both tests, there's 
a high rate of false positives and also some false negatives. We'll be discussing that in an upcoming video that looks at the reliability of food sensitivity testing. Okay, that should give you a better understanding of the difference between food sensitivity and food allergy. If you have additional questions on this topic, please drop it in the comments section. I may do a separate video on that topic. For sure, I'll try and answer your question. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.